Hi guys, welcome back to Tech Figure. Now as tempting as many of those new iPad Pros are, many of us prefer the customization, the flexibility and the variety of the Android tablets. So whether you own a Galaxy Tab S or an LG G-Pad or even a Google tablet or one of the many other great Android tablets on the market, here's how to keep your tablet feeling fast and fresh. First things first, check for software and app updates. You probably already do this, but it can't hurt to every now and then go to the About page in the Settings page and manually check for any Android updates. Keeping the software and apps up to date is the best way to ensure your tablet is as fast and reliable as possible. But if your tablet is still feeling a bit sluggish, there are a few things we can do. First of all, get rid of any unnecessary widgets. Depending on what type of widget and information and app shortcut they're providing, they regularly update and can use a fair bit of your tablet's RAM and processing power. So maybe hang on to the clock, but get rid of those weather and social media widgets. The next tip is a little bit more complicated, but don't worry, anyone can do it and it only takes a couple of seconds. What we're going to do is reduce the length of animations you see when you tap on icons, open the app drawer, swipe between applications and things like that. So go to your settings app and scroll down to about device, tap on software information and find the build number. Once you see it, tap it seven times in a row to unlock the developer option. Don't worry, it's safe to do and we're only going to change a couple of things. With developer mode unlocked, go back to the main settings page and open the developer options. Scroll down until you see window and transition and animator scale options. Change all three to 0.5 times animation scale. And that's it, job is done. Now go back to your home screen and you'll find that everything feels a little bit faster and snappier. I think you will definitely be able to tell the difference. Now my next tip might sound a bit funny, but we want to see which apps are draining the most battery power. Once again, go to the settings and open the battery settings and then tap on battery usage. If you scroll down, you'll see a list of the apps which are draining the most battery. Obviously things like the screen and Android will be pretty big battery users, but if you see a particular app or game, maybe something like SoundCloud or Facebook, the chances are if it's draining a lot of battery, it may also be having an impact on your tablet's performance. So try to cut down how much you use these apps or a good tip in the case of Facebook in particular, which is infamous for being a bit of a power hog, is to uninstall the app and then add a bookmark to their mobile site on Chrome or whatever browser you're using to the home screen and then use it through that. It might not be as polished or as fast, but it will improve your battery and your tablet's performance. If things are still feeling a little bit slow, Installing a third-party launcher could give it that boost it needs. Download and install one of the popular launchers like Google Now or Nova, which not only lets you customize the theme and wallpaper icons and animations of your tablet, but almost always makes it feel faster and more responsive. Most are free, but you can upgrade to a paid pro version if you like. But most importantly, it doesn't require you to root to your device. So let's say you've tried everything and still your tablet's not running perfectly. Try a factory reset. It's a bit of a pain downloading apps and signing into everything, but a full reset and a clean start might just do the trick in getting rid of some of the apps you don't use and clearing cached data. It's easy to do, just go to settings, backup and reset, and then tap on factory data reset. Make sure you do backup any photos or contacts you want to keep, but then give it a go and hopefully your tablet should come back feeling fast and fresh. Hopefully these tips will make your Android device smarter and fresher to use. But if it is a few years old, the hardware may be getting a bit old now and it might be time to invest in a new Android device. If you've got any tips on how to improve your Android device that I might have missed, do let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much guys for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And hopefully I'll see you right here on the Tech Figure channel.